In this doing green screen tutorial, we're going to learn how to add multiple layers. This can be done to make more layers to movies you're making or to add really cool special effects. Another cool thing you can do is actually film yourself in multiple areas and still look like it's all part of one video. You usually get really creative at just standing there and looking at someone. So all we do is film another separate video on the green screen and pop it in on a different layer. Did we just become best friends? Yeah, we did. Bye-bye. Miss. And all I really did was just film from one center point. Adding multiple layers like a sandwich will let you build special effects, multiple videos, and create really awesome projects. So right now I have a background image on the bottom layer, and I'm going to go in and I'm going to go add one of the previously filmed videos that we've made before. So there I am, and of course, don't forget, we're going to have to do our cropping tool or a masking tool so we can strain the pictures. And then we're also going to change the sensitivity on the chroma key a little bit just to get rid of that green shadow. So there you can see, I can use my pinch and zoom and I can move things around. And if I go through, there's a video of that talking there. Now, by adding another layer, let's go to the top layer and we'll add another video here. So there's another one of me and you'll notice how the layers go in. They go on top of each other. So as you go higher, that layer goes on top rather than bottom. So I'm just going to do my usual sensitivity things, and now you can see I have two layers. I can always hold my finger on that layer and move it if I want to come in at a later time. So as you see, I'm not there, and as I get to that video part there, I pop right in. Another thing you're going to notice is I'm talking in both layers. So if you're doing a project with students, they may have to take turns talking, because if not, you're going to get this. And that's just too much Kyle Kitchen talking for anyone. So, I can always go in and there is the volume meter, so I could mute that video. For this video, it's going to be a little odd, but it makes sense when I play because one's off, the other one's still on. Now, I'm kind of done because I filled up all my layers, but here's all we have to do. If I like this video and I want to add more things to it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to export it and save it. So when I export it, it's going to do that quick little stop motion. And then I'm just going to save it to the camera roll. So from here, I'm simply going to go in. I could start a new project, but because I'm on the screen, I'm just going to go in and I'm going to delete all of my frames here. And then I'm going to go to the bottom layer and I'm going to go add the video I just did. So now if you see, I've got that video where I pop in there. Now from here, I can go in and I have two more layers that I can add to. So I can go in and pretty much find anything else I need. This is the fun one. There's my hand from the pinching zoom video. And I can add that in as another layer. And then you just keep on going. If you need up to 17 layers, then you just follow that pattern. Make whatever video you're doing, save it, export it, and then re-import it. And that's going to give you your multiple layers. Equipment and green screens. Nope, I'm talking about something quick, Check out our playlist and other videos about using Do Ink and green screen in the classroom. Here you'll find sample projects, things your students can do right away, and simple tips and tricks about green screen.